Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Hello and welcome. This will be our travel feedback uh, about Indonesia, yeah, the mm -hmm. country we just left. We just left yesterday, yeah? Yes, so... Uh, Here we are with our feedback. Yes. Good and bad, yeah? As always, yeah, we'll start always. with the bad ones, yeah? Yeah, yeah, always the truth, guys. So yeah, never uh, hide the truth and no. uh, just showing just the positive, uh, nice uh, yeah. parts. No, good and bad. What exactly we experienced, exactly. yeah? Exactly, you guys could uh, see it from our videos or you can see it if you are interested in everything. Yeah. What happened, yeah, it's in mm -hmm. our videos. Yeah. Everything to be clear, yeah? Uh, so you can uh, decide if you want to go or no in each country we have visited uh, till now. We have all our feedbacks for yeah. uh, each for, country. So I want to start with uh, this. Uh, if you go on Wikipedia yeah, mm -hmm. and you uh, search education, this is how, because many of the people, they don't understand when we complain about people being uneducated, they always respond that, uh, you know, most of them, uh, they finish high school and I don't know how many uh, percents of the people, they graduate university. No, guys, we're not talking about only that. Mm -hmm. So listen to this. Education is a purposeful activity directed at achieving certain aims, such as transmitting knowledge or fostering skills or character traits. These aims may include the development of understanding, rationality, kindness, and honesty. Mm -hmm. So listen to the last two, kindness and honesty. Mm -hmm. So also further down in the article, uh, you'll see that education consists of uh, formal, non-formal and informal education, yeah? So formal education is the education you receive in institutions, you know, in the public educational system every country has, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. institutions, universities, colleges, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And informal is the one you should receive at home, yeah? yeah. Provided by your parents, by your relatives, by your uh, community, yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everyone, uh, yeah, who lives around you, okay. And by you as well, yeah. Because and don't forget kindness, and uh, uh, honesty, yeah, honesty. should yeah. be teach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so. Okay. So we start with bad and leave the goods at the end. Yeah. yeah? Okay. So bad things first one, which was I think the most. I don't know if this one was the most worst. But corruption. Yeah. Yes. So this is corruption. They uh, and this. On this corruption section, we included the uh, tourist uh, business visa. They have this uh, tourist business visa. So you can understand how corrupt is Indonesia. <laughs> when I heard about this, they, I, I thought it's just business visa, you know, to go and do some business. But no, they have business tourist <laughs> visa. So guys, yeah, do not uh, do what we did, yeah, because yeah. in the end, we realized it was a bad investment mm -hmm. because after the extension of uh, our visas on arrival, yeah, yeah, you are allowed two months, then you have to get out of the country. And we said, okay, better because, uh, you know, they don't really like this type where you only fly for one night like everyone does. This is the thing with the people who live in, uh, who lives in Bali, especially. especially yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they come back, yeah, mm -hmm. to get another visa on arrival. We said, okay, let's do the business visa because depending on where we will travel mm -hmm. in the country it will be maybe difficult for us to extend or because on the first experience and this is also very bad yeah we extended our visa on arrival in Bandung uh -huh. and it took us two weeks and weeks, a half uh, almost exactly. three weeks for exactly. the extension so we were stuck in one city mm -hmm. which is again and anyway Bandung was a big city we plan to go to Maluku when we uh, go back to Indonesia, when we went back to Indonesia and there, I don't know how many options we could have, you know, far away from, uh, you yeah. know, big, big but cities. Probably it would have been easier, maybe, you know. Who but, knows? Yeah, who knows? But who okay, knows? so we decided we paid $300 almost the person because uh, there's also another sign of corruption. There's uh, three, uh, in general is two, but some agencies have three levels of... Uh, time you know mm -hmm. in which you can get your uh, business visa yeah yeah so the faster you want it the more expensive it is you know mm -hmm. but so the thing is we ended up uh, living in indonesia after only one month and one week yeah 
of our two months business visa because we've had enough. So mm -hmm. in the end for us, it was a bad investment. Yeah. So if you want to uh, plan to stay more than two months, just do that thing with where you just take one flight off the country and come back on same visa on arrival. Don't, don't pay too much because yeah, uh, don't we... Don't invest in the business visa because it's not worth it. For us, it costs like, I think for one person, $270 a yeah, person. So. It was so expensive and it was not worth it because we didn't use it all because we were exactly but how uh, is this possible you, you know to uh, pay more and get it faster you know this is clearly a system yeah, yeah, of, yeah. Uh, corruption. of corruption yeah yeah yeah, yeah. definitely you, you can feel it i mean we we should have does? start by saying these guys we know corruption yeah because mm -hmm. we are from romania yeah and we didn't uh, realize how bad can be comparing to our country you know mm -hmm. we never thought these countries will be uh, so corrupt but every country we've seen so far is way more corrupt than Romania. So this is a disaster. And this is a shock for us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we never expected to no, find no. So more corruption than home. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, in this section, corruption as well, we have this. Gojek is not allowed at airport and bus station in some places. Not yeah. all the places, but in some places they are not allowed because of the mafia. Yeah. Exactly. So you need to understand that at the airport and the bus station there stays guys who wants to charge you a lot more extra than the Gojek, than the fair price. And uh, if the Gojek arrives there, which happens in one situation at the bus station, they um, try to uh, fight ver verbally with the Gojek and the Gojek, the, the guy from the Gojek paid them some money, gave yeah, exactly. them some money. So they forced him, they forced yeah. him to, to, pay the money, to, to pay the money, to bribe the local mafia. You can check our videos in Probolingo, yeah? Yeah. When we went to see Bromo Volcano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, this is the top level, you know, corrupt system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also the airports, yeah, they have their own taxes and they're not allowing. But for us, what's even more mind blogging is that these drivers that do Gojek, mm -hmm. they are not capable of entering, you know, it's yeah, like exactly. they are afraid. It's like uh, someone is expecting them there with a li uh, liar detector, you know, and if they caught them lying, they will hang up, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, hang yeah, yeah. them up. Because yeah. you can come to the airport exactly, to your family too, exactly, just but they tell don't them. go. I, uh, definitely the mafia knows the guys from the small city who work with Gojek, exactly, definitely. Exactly, there's a problem. So and they, they are afraid of everything them. Everything is... So this is not equal, like uh, you cannot work legally to earn some money just if you are part of the mafia. That's exactly. And corruption. how is this benefiting the rest of the, uh, <laughs> the Indonesian the society? Because yeah. there's always people jumping in the comments, you're supporting the locals. No, you're supporting just a handful of people, yeah? All yeah, the rest yeah, yeah. are poor. They never see one dime from this money, yeah? No, no, this, no. Everything in this country, every system, it's corrupt to its core. So yeah. all the money goes only to a Some few people, people yeah? Which and gets rich and yeah. the rest of the country yes, is nothing. poor. Most of them don't have something to eat, you know? Yeah. If uh, it's not the case. So the, the third one is you need to pay um, everywhere parking, toilets, viewpoint, and the thing is that you don't get something in return, yeah. like cleaning. Exactly, so Especially many times for toilets. we've been charged, you know, toilets also, but for viewpoints, yeah, happens recently, last one, it was in Lombok with mm -hmm. Mandalika Circuit yeah. Hill. Yeah, We uh, pay for cleaning and I... On a hill, guys, yeah, on a on, hill. It's a random hill close to the circuit and then they just stay there and ask you they say for cleaning which obviously yeah. it's a lie it's so dirty you can see our video beaches yeah check out beaches. the video beaches we did on the k island same the most beautiful yeah. beaches and they are full of and then trash. this also uh, parking is a national disaster you know because yeah. they take section of the public road the local mafias or parking mafia and then they just charge you yeah you pay two thousand yeah. depending where you are in lombok is ten thousand some places 2000 1000 so this money guys uh, goes the same place where every uh, every mm -hmm. uh, yeah every other activity they have money, deals yeah, yeah? yeah deals yeah. with the government with the police with the local so forces they, yeah they so just they split, split the, the money yeah? exactly but never to these locals so never to the locals guys so you need to think differently if you go this if you think this money goes to the locals 
That's yeah. a big, big lie. Exactly. Locals don't see one rupiah. You are delusional. You are delusional. You're living in your own world. You <laughs> yeah. don't see, you know, because you are living or in Or you it. don't want to see because yeah, I see yeah, this exactly. problem. Most of people just being positive, they don't want to see the reality. Exactly. Uh, that's, it's not okay to be negative, but even it's not okay to be positive, but see the reality. Reality no, is the most impor exactly. important. So you don't lie first to yourself and after that this to the rest. This is what is happening, yeah. yeah. No, nothing really. Okay, so second section, the lack of education, yeah? So we have here dirty, as we said, yeah? People throw trash everywhere, especially when we uh, took the ferry in the sea. Every single minute, we stay long, long time at the outside, wind, yeah. outside, yeah, yeah, yeah. In more section hours, literally yeah. hours. So every single minute, one cigarette is throwing in the sea, yeah. plus pop me, bottle of water, bottle of juices, plastic, bags, everything. Yeah. So uh, Vlad just says, if we had uh, around our uh, ferry some uh, a net, yeah, a to, net catch to catch all everything, all the uh, after uh, 12 hours of or 13 of, hours yeah, travel time, 16, travel, 17 16, hours, yeah. I don't know, was <laughs> long? to see how much trash they throw. And imagine guys that uh, uh, that trash go, uh, arrives inside of the fish, yeah, of the yeah, but, animals from the, the Yeah, but then on the shores sea, of the, the beaches, you beaches, know, which affects, you don't clean. Yeah? Affects everything. Yeah, everything. marine life, Marine life, uh, corals, everything, everything. Yeah. So you don't realize how big uh, impact has this to your, uh, your place. Yeah, yeah? And the problem is that people, being a majority Muslim country, yeah, people told us that uh, Islam teach about being clean, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we are so... Confused. Yeah, <laughs> confused. If you guys are taught to be clean, be clean. from... Uh, from religion, From yeah? your birth, basically, yeah? Yeah. So how comes everything is dirty in this country? Everywhere is trash. So that means you are not taught, you just lie yourself that you are taught about cleaning Obviously, because you cannot see, yeah? The reality contradicts, yeah. you know, what, <laughs> say what you, uh, you say. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, we, we cannot comprehend yeah. this. Anyway, in this section, we have uh, people split onion, yeah? Uh, spit, yeah. Spit, uh, spit onion. <laughs> yeah, 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 it happened to on the same ferry, yeah? From <laughs> on 10 my meters, face, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they just... Um, Spit on my yeah. face, so no we have problem. To, yeah, I for, we forgot to start with this actually. This India, uh, Indonesia, it's uh, same like India, guys. Yeah. yeah. So everything you expect in India, you have to expect in Indonesia. We yeah, yeah. we had no idea about this. And nobody, mm -hmm. not one video mentioned about this. Mm -hmm. Even the name, yeah, it's mm -hmm. similar. Mm -hmm. in, it's a bit longer, but India, it's inside of Indonesia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you take out, uh, take out EA is. E S I, oh. you are, you have India. I never Indonesia, thought about that. Know? That's so, so smart. Yeah. So everything, it's the same basically. Ninety-nine percent happens the same in, in this India. Country. Same uh, people spit uh, on spit us. Spit on yeah. you, yeah. <laughs> While walking on the streets, anywhere you go, doesn't trash, trash everywhere. Trash everywhere. So it's the same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They have more cows uh, in. Uh, yeah, more <laughs> cows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, another thing is here, they don't speak uh, English. Yes. Most of the people, they don't speak English. Maybe you guys just visited Bali, yeah? And you say about Indonesia, they speak English because in Bali you can find more people who speak English than on the rest of the but country. But attention, not the locals. No. <laughs> and only, and even those who work in hospitality industry, they speak a bit of an English. Yeah. We've had so much struggling on Airbnb, asking questions, mm -hmm. and they are not able to respond. To yeah. respond, yeah. Sure. So stop it, yeah. In this country, English it's not uh, spoken on a wider scale. Yeah, and what people, the, the local says that most all all the locals which we met, they said. Uh, there, people speak English, and you said, "I will challenge you exactly. on the street to go to see who uh, speaks." Okay, uh, if you don't speak, say you don't speak, but don't uh, spread. Uh, yeah, so many of you guys words. delusional in the comments. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like you are living in a your own world reality. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm telling all of you, money on the table. Yeah. Anytime you want to, uh, you know. To prove yeah. something, we both go put the money and then we see who's got right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. 
uh, another thing, no uh, punctuality. Oh yeah, this uh, goes. This they late, they late so Don't much. forget about the uh, non-informal education. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Punctuality, the, everything that comes from this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Spitting. Yeah. Uh, uh, throwing trash, trash. This, everything it's due to the lack of education yeah yeah, yeah exactly um, people uh, yelling 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 oh, yeah. same uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah behavior <laughs> on the streets is like savages I'm sorry but <laughs> we we've had over you know we've had <laughs> enough that's yeah. why we left earlier this country yeah, yeah, yeah you cannot it's so tiring guys for you of, uh, for those of you watching it's not just one of you, yeah? Mm -hmm. If you do it, you have to think about the rest of you, you know? There's millions of people everywhere, yeah? Everywhere. So yeah, every, yeah. like, 99% of them, they are doing, they are calling you, you know, they are yelling on the streets, you know? Uh -huh. Mr. Lova Lova. <laughs> Mr. Mr. And then taking photos, you know? So this also is due to the lack of education, semi-education, mm -hmm. because you don't respect, yeah, 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 yeah. your guests. Yeah. You know, so then you don't think about them. Yeah? yeah, do you think we have nothing better to do than take uh, 200 photos in a day? Also, when I'm going to the run, to run in the morning, I go at between six and seven. But you know, not so many people agglomeration. Yeah. You know, and they almost stop the car to uh, speak with me, to scream after me. To I want guys to go and run. Leave me alone. You know. Leave me alone, don't, because I don't go to communicate. If you want to communicate with us, we can go to a coffee shop to speak, to, yeah. you know, but not when we are running, not when every single minute, you know, because it's, it's stressful. And you don't want in your, especially if you come in your uh, vac vacation, yeah? Any you don't idea. want to uh, do selfies, you want to relax, you want to have a good time, yeah. So again, this is not kindness, yeah? This is the opposite. Yeah, this exactly. makes you a bad people. Yeah. When you don't respect the others, you are a bad people. You are in, yeah. When you don't respect the environment, you are a bad people. Yeah? You yeah, are not yeah. kind. So, again, not educated. Yeah. So, uh, exactly on this section, lack of education, no respect in, tra in, in traffic. Yeah. No, oh, it's the same. Yeah. Same. You so, can judge a country as soon as you arrive, yeah? By its traffic, always. Yeah. This is the first way you can judge a country, yeah? Yeah. So... Guys, no, no respect. Back, so, in, back, uh, just uh, sorry, so, back in the uh, civilized world, yeah, mm -hmm. guys. You just so you are aware what civilization means, yeah, and respect. Mm -hmm. If you don't keep within your traffic lane, yeah, then you are seen as a danger. You get points and you get fine. <laughs> yeah. What lines do people respect here? Even in Jakarta, people don't respect, True. you know, the the traffic lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. L let alone other smaller city or countryside, you know. So. So the thing is, if you they have uh, the car stop on their side and the um, uh, the other cars co come from uh, opposite, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, they don't stop because they need to stop on their line, yeah. They don't stop. They just go, and the other car needs to stop. So. How you can tell that you respect your community, your people from your community, if you don't let them pass on their path and path and you just go and you don't care. Yeah. That, that's so bad. That's not respect. What? So uh, honking, how, how yeah, is this honking? honking? Yeah, same. Same like India. Yeah. Eh? In we India. are so stressed, oh my god, we are so disgusted by all the drivers. At some point, you have to tell them, please stop honking, yeah? No more honking. Uh -huh. Because, uh yeah, 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 they just drive through the airport or uh, whatever. They just honk, even they don't have obstacles, you know? They just honk. They, they pass to... someone, you know? Yeah. yeah, they need to honk. Why? Why? <laughs> I don't know. And uh -huh. it's... It's not nice, you know, when you have people in it's the disturbing. back. It's, it's disturbing. It's disturbing. And yeah. the people from outside, one lady just, um, uh, how you say, uh, indicates that she goes to the left. Yeah. And she did legally and he just hung her. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Why not? Yeah. Why not? So not respecting the queue. People, uh, and also in this, if they stay in the queue, they are pushing you. Yeah. In the yeah. queue. Oh they God, stay so. in your back. So if the, you stay like that, they stay like that. Yeah. So I Very said, true. please keep the distance. The thing is, when we went last, uh, 
last time, not last time, but I don't know, previous time, I think in the airport, they didn't respect the queue. So what I did, because uh, I tried before to say, please respect, please respect, you go in the band, nobody's listening. So if you are like that, I'm like that. I just took the guy who just sit in front of me, she, he should stay in the back, I took him like that and put him in the back. So you stay, you stay there. Okay. <laughs> you and, know? and then, you know, uh, a bit later on, people start uh, fighting, you know, because mm -hmm. the same, yeah? Mm -hmm. So many people didn't respect the queue in the airport, guys, yeah? yeah, yeah and yeah. unfortunately, so many uh, mothers and grand, uh, mm -hmm. grandmothers, yeah? They are so uneducated oh. on the airports. Especially, uh, I, I don't have anything with a religion or something but I don't know I found this and I see so many grandmothers from mu Muslim religion they are not educated at all in the queue especially they just push 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 you and they are not educated so the grandmother from uh, I, don't, I don't know if, if it's a religion I don't know but from Muslim grandmother, no, but they the thing just... Is, this country being majority Muslim, Major yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. you'll find most of them, yeah, yeah, they yeah. are Muslim. Yeah, but but I, I didn't meet another, I don't know what Hindu or Christian they are. They, the, old, the grandma didn't push me. But Muslim, every single grandma Muslim, they are pushing you in the back. Oh my God. It's so what? For what us here in Indonesia, Almost every airport experience is a terrible, it's a horrible one, yeah? Especially uh, this, uh, I want, you know, from women to be educated. I think should be much more educated maybe than a man because uh, they give birth and they need to educate the kids. So and if they are not educated, how you can educate your kids, you know? So then you can explain. Why is the state of uh, the society? Yeah, yeah. yeah, like it is now. <laughs> so a woman needs to uh, invest so much in herself that she needs to give back. And if they are not educated guys, how? No. you can imagine how the country is, yeah? If the women are not educated. Ooh. Okay. Exotic. <laughs> so let's change the uh, subject and go to diverse. Even we are still in the bad section, <laughs> but we have here um, diverse. The problem is that uh, this country have this um, Muslim religion. It's okay religion. We we, don't care, we, yeah. we are okay with every religion. Doesn't matter. You need to believe and to be truly with yourself, and it's very good. But lots of mo mosques have these loud uh, speakers, yeah, attached to their uh, mosques, yeah. This is a big problem because yeah, because they wake up, wake you up at four, four or five o'clock in the morning, yeah. Yeah. So guys, so we told you, we don't care about your religion. You do no. whatever you do. No, no, no. But you should be minding mm -hmm. the other people, yeah? yeah you yeah. are not the only ones living, yeah? No, no, no. There might be Christians who live there, yeah? Mm -hmm. So why do you have to disturb them to, you know, impact their life? Or Hindu, because uh, in mm -hmm. Indonesia it's Hindu as well, yeah? Yeah, so, and it doesn't matter, you know? Doesn't so I think beyond religion, yeah? Mm -hmm. Beyond, you should be thinking... Again, kindness, yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. Kindness. You should be thinking about the other people, yeah? Yeah. So when you put those speakers on the on your churches, you know, mm -hmm. that tells me you are not thinking about the other people. You, you know? don't respect the you people. You don't respect, so obviously. Every yeah. mosque which has a loudspeaker on their mosque, they don't respect the others. And how you can say that you are religion, you believe in a God, if you don't respect the others, because the religion teaches you to respect the others and to, to accept love the others, others to, to love the others. Them, yeah? And to don't disturb, I mean, your religion don't teach you to disturb the others. So if you have there on the, uh, on the mosque, my, my, my opinion is that maybe you just want to see how, uh, to show the people how good you are, that you are praying by disturbing them. No, just pray in silence with yourself in the mosque and that's it. Don't disturb nobody. Everybody is yeah. happy. Why? But again, guys, okay. Uh, this is our choice, yeah? yeah, of visiting this country. So yeah, yeah, yeah. we live with this, but we are just expressing our opinions, our feelings about it, yeah, yeah, which yeah. we are entitled to. Yeah? yeah, we are just telling you that it disturbs us. Yeah, we're not yeah. telling you to change your religions. Yeah, yeah? exactly. Yeah, you, you can do whatever you want till you don't disturb 
the others, you no, know? No, no, but even, even here, you know, you are not entitled... You know, Obviously, we, yeah. We, we are visitors, guys, yeah? yeah, yeah so yeah. we are just telling you what disturbs us, yeah? yeah and yeah, what true. we believe about something. Yeah, we are right. entitled to have our opinions and feelings, yeah? Yeah, that's so true, yeah. that's so true. Just accept them. Yeah. yeah. So here on Diverse, we have uh, no phone signal. I mean, we don't have phone signal. Yeah, many many regions yeah places. we travel to some more exotic places mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, where yeah. phone signal and also on the same page the internet connection you know mm -hmm. we've also struggled a lot mm -hmm. here in indonesia you know so uh, you you need to know guys that we didn't uh, we haven't been just in bali we've visited so many places in indonesia and far away yeah so and anyway even in some cities you don't have uh, <laughs> All the in all the places, um, good signal. Yeah, yeah but that's uh, understandable. The thing yeah. is, honestly, it's not that bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Because being a country so huge, you know, mm -hmm, on, mm -hmm. on so many islands, you know, this infrastructure is so yeah, yeah, yeah. difficult. Yeah, to, it is. It is. To, yeah. You know, yeah, but it could have been better. That's definitely. But again. Yeah because of your government yeah and here we can uh, include the poor internet connection yeah, yeah. We, we just talked about this yeah okay so um so long complicated process to get sim card and visa extension yeah. so we, maybe we can just talk about sim card because visa extension well we covered that it yeah, took yeah. us to depending on where we are probably you know yeah but also on the SIM cards, again, it reminds me of India, same process, yeah? Mm -hmm. But in India was even, in India we couldn't do it at all without a local reference, yeah? Yeah. So it took us four hours to get SIM cards in India. Here, mm -hmm. about one hour and a half, yeah? Oh my God, it seems so complicated process. They do so many photos with passport, with you holding, I don't know, did they do us? I, I cannot remember. But it took us way, way, way too much time, you know? Yeah. It's an... Ab observe process guys at uh, this time of our evolution again yeah. on this ha almost half of the 21st century you cannot do that it's absurd yeah just mm -hmm. give me my passport in five minutes i want my sim that's it yeah so register there on our website and that's it in if uh, in other countries possible definitely exactly, it's possible yeah. in your country and in, in malaysia F yeah. philippines uh, malaysia, malaysia. Sri Fast. Lanka, I remember, it wasn't that complicated. India, Indonesia, remember. disaster. Disaster. Here also, with the SIM card, we can include this pro process with uh, expiring. Email. Oh my God, <laughs> guys, if, if we should actually have started. Oh my God, we keep, I keep forgetting. Because the this is the most important. When you arrive yeah, in Indonesia and if you plan to buy a SIM card for your phone, mm -hmm. first thing you do on the airport, you register your phone yeah your email yeah mm -hmm. the uh, phone serial number there's uh, places uh, in, on the airport these uh, airports i think all all of them they have they should have yeah so just do that because we didn't do it when we arrived because it was late like night 2 a.m in the morning something like that yeah. we are tired and then they did it for us in uh, jakarta when second day when we bought the um, in the city the yeah. sim cards but the thing is, nobody, they didn't uh, tell us that it expires, this yeah. email registration. If you can imagine something like that, it expires after three months. Mm -hmm. And when we, won, we went in uh, Labon Bajo, Labon Bajo yeah, 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 we've yeah. Been to, when we've been to Komodo, so the guy from the, because uh, Friday from Telkom cell, they told us they cannot do it any longer, that we have to go to the cantor. Uh, and uh, tell them that we need uh, this uh, registration again, you know, email. So we went Monday, uh, we, the canter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and because then, that time was open. Yeah, Friday exactly. was, uh, yeah, was, Friday was, was closed. So we were Friday, left yeah. without phone signal, yeah, for the entire weekend. Yeah. Our hotel's uh, connect, uh, Wi Fi connection sucked. We couldn't use it. So in can, the night, we did, uh, in the evening, we didn't have any. Can you imagine, yeah? an entire weekend without internet yeah yeah welcome to indonesia so we went to the canter and the guy was like yeah but why didn't you google mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. so after a day and i was like what say again do you think after they activated mm -hmm. yeah the next thing i did was to think is this uh uh, valid for how long let me google this oh my yeah. god guys this is and the thing is what they want through this again this corrupt government it's they want you to, to 
because they if you stay longer you know mm -hmm. i think it, that's the reason yeah mm -hmm. then you are like a resident but you are not resident because yeah. you are on a tourist visa yeah Business so tourist visa, but yeah. they want you to pay up to 40 percent of the value of your phone so they can do this registration again for you so you can have phone signal again it, it, so it, he said first just this is the option yeah first he said exactly, just this yeah. is the option and after that he changed his mind and he said okay but uh, i'm coming from bali and you know in bali they can do this you go again to telecom cell where you have been friday and tell them to give you another uh, sim yeah. sim card yeah uh, no i mean to they didn't we, gave us sim card no we register i think -register. he said only through getting a new sim card but yeah the thing is they can't do it without mm -hmm. getting the new sim card yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. but the guys from Friday, I think they did a new, or I don't know what they. Uh, I don't because the, it was the same uh, telecom cell. Yeah, yeah which in we the have same been. place. But anyway, yeah. guys, again, yes. government. Also, we did not hear about this thing. This is the first time, honestly, in my entire life. There might be other countries mm -hmm. where you cannot use your, fo use your phone, you know. But I never heard. Ah, you need to pay for it. Uh... No, no, for the registration, I mean, you know, ah, for yeah. the email. So basically, you don't have phone signal, yeah? As yeah, soon yeah. as you uh, land and get out of the plane, you turn your phone off of uh, uh, flight mode and then you don't have phone signal. Yeah. So, and, uh, except Indonesia, we've never uh, seen this, yeah? yeah or yeah. had to deal with this. I don't know, might be others, but this is beyond crazy. Yeah. Okay, we have street dogs. Oh my god, yeah. same problem. Yeah. So when I'm running in the morning, I'm going with... Uh, <laughs> because I'm afraid of dogs, I don't know why. But um, uh, you know when, when I'm afraid, when maybe three or four or five are coming and running after me, because uh, they run when you see you run, you know? If you walk, mm, it's, the percent is lower, <laughs> so they come and uh, bark, yeah? But when you run, they come and run and they come till your leg and touch your leg. And I'm afraid. I'm so afraid. And I ask the locals, who these dogs are? Nobody. Yeah, like they, <laughs> like they care. They, yeah, so you can imagine. I mean, they ha didn't did anything to me, but yeah. I am scared, yeah? Scared. Yeah, it's normal. Yeah. So uh, also, <laughs> when they say people people are nice, we don't understand why they say people are nice, because in the airport, they, co uh, they control our baggage to make sure we didn't, uh, we haven't took anything from the others, you no, know? No, no, not to grab uh, someone else's baggage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I someone think so. else's baggages, yeah. yeah. So, you so can that's imagine why they control, yeah. Exactly. You can Im we were left, uh, you know, uh, because sometimes we rip, those uh, tags off yeah, you know yeah. and just throw them in the bin when we take the baggage from off, the yeah. off of the belt you know yeah. and just uh, rip the the tags and we were okay good time uh, good luck that we didn't because who how uh, would have uh, we proved proof. yeah that actually these are our bags you know it's crazy yeah, yeah so yeah. you can imagine what the locals are, are doing you know all these nice indonesian people yeah they take someone else's baggages yeah, yeah. by so mistake you know check. yeah 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 by mistake Okay, so smile and smile. go to positive part. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we decided that is the most spectacular country we've uh, seen so far. Easy, yeah. easy. It is, definitely, guys. It's also one of the most spectacular and beautiful countries in the world, no yeah, question. Yeah. 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 This country is a gem, a, a gem. diamond. So, because, guys, you have uh, diversity here, yeah? yeah it's you have beaches. You have volcano, you have a uh, spectacular view of uh, different uh, landscapes. You yeah, have mountains, everything. Rice, rice services, pink beaches, unique animals, dragons. Yeah, dragons, yeah, fauna, flora. We haven't been to Papua for the ocean di the oh, diversity, no. you know, and uh, everything. Uh, so, or sometimes when you uh, see from the plane, yeah. oh my Islands. god. We, we have so nice pictures doing from the plane. Yeah, we've been to Belichung. Amazing, you know, these beaches rocks. with big boulders, rocks on the beaches. They it's And dope. you don't take care of it, yeah? Yeah. You don't keep it clean. And make people clean. like us not wanting to come back again. Come back. Because but of that. Yeah. Because you destroy your beautiful nature. So imagine, guys, 
you have unique places like fine sand, pink beaches, uh, active volcanoes, you know? You guys should, should uh, be, I don't know, at Dubai level in richness. Yeah. From the tourism. From the tourism. If you would have the proper government, yeah. Yeah. yeah and yeah. that's it. End of the discussion. The discussion because yeah. you don't have the pro uh, the good government who take care of you, and this is your problem, guys. Because uh, I we met the young people. They said, ah, oh, but it's not my problem. I'm I'm not interested in you know this politics. I'm not. If you don't care what your government is doing with your money, with your taxes, that. That means it's your fault and you deserve what you exactly, have, yeah? whatever you have, okay. So, okay, it's cheap, excluding yes. the flights. Yeah. yeah, so if you travel like we did yeah. to so many places and more far exotic places, then uh, it's, uh, it's, it's expensive. It's expensive because especially uh, another one on the list is the good weather in summer, yeah? Mm -hmm. But this goes hand in hand because being seasoned, yeah? yeah, also the flights are the most expensive mm -hmm. and then you have to take multiple flights, you know, mm -hmm. change destination Connection. often mm -hmm. and then each flight $8,100 per person we were to, uh, you know, return. Sometimes so, including the baggages because yeah. sometimes we don't have the baggage included. Yeah. Uh, so mm. it's, it adds up, yeah, very much if mm -hmm. you travel by flight, you know. Yeah, we spend so much money uh, in Indonesia oh just God. for flights. Yeah, so, but it is what it is. You have yeah. these spectacular uh, beaches. If you like, yeah. you know, just take one big island and explore it for one year. And, and it's cheap. That's very right. cheap. That's the... Accommodation and food, it's cheap. Yeah, also and Also taxi, yeah. Online apps, you know, everything. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Public transportation, very cheap. So if we, we spoke about the summer, let's say, yeah. li like uh, they have good weather. Obviously, yeah. if uh, you come in summer season, yeah. It's perfect. Just it's perfect because... It's uh, the same as uh, the European summer, you mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm. so you can do your August vacation uh -huh. in Bali or wherever in Indonesia. Yeah. yeah. Uh, good and diverse food. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. This is definitely mm -hmm. something. I honestly think it's more diverse than India. People will go mad when we hear this, but trust me, we've been also in India many places and 90% of the foods were the same. So please let me with your food diversity. You know, 90% of the food, they are the same everywhere, yeah. Uh, but, but here in Indonesia, because of the such a diversity, you know, it's like influences, uh -huh, exactly, from influences everywhere. from everywhere, China, mm -hmm. you know. Japanese. Japanese, then uh, this, uh, probably Thailand, you know. So, but they have all sorts of uh, soups, you know. Mm -hmm. I haven't mm -hmm. seen too many soups in India, mm -hmm. you know, it's mm -hmm. like those classical yeah, yeah which we don't really like, but you know, it's, it's very diverse food, yeah? yeah, and good. Not all the food mm -hmm. is good, but you yeah, have options. Yeah, not all the food is good, but yeah. you have some options, yeah. yeah. And it's also what I want to add here, the sambal restaurants who know how to do sambal oh good with fried chicken. <laughs> We are in love with the sambal, guys. We are missing the sambal. Best sambal we had is the one we had in uh, um, K Islands. On the K Islands at Gota Supermarket. Gota Supermarket. I'll never forget in my entire life. <sighs> Honestly, I th I thought it would be easy to find good sambal everywhere, but it's no, not no, the no, case. No, 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 yeah, no. So, so that was the best sambal which and now, we had. In the last uh, week, it was difficult. We couldn't find any, not even to come close to the one we had in. Mm -hmm, yeah, for the sambal, yeah, in, yeah. 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 No, 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 no. Uh, another thing here on goods, it's safe, guys. Oh my God. So you will not feel that they want to take your bags, take your money from the bags, want no, no. to fight. Even me as a woman, you know, when I'm going alone, running alone, I feel so, so, so they safe. Yeah, verbally, you know. They are verbally, the guys, uh, yeah. because the guys uh, say to me hi <laughs> and, uh, you yeah. know, yeah. But they never, you know. No, no. Yeah. Sometimes I don't feel safe because, you know, they come closer to me, but never they will do anything, yeah? No, so, no, no. Because they have families, they have, uh, you know. Exactly. The thing is, they are peaceful people, you know. Yeah. Nice. And yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this is not... But, uh, they, they will, uh, they will uh, rip you off legally, yeah. as we say, yeah? Exactly. So the thing is... We don't consider people nice here. No, 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 no. N no country we've been to, except the Philippines, maybe. Yeah, Philippines. We, we cannot say about the people because, for us, being nice 
it means you do something nice or beautiful for a stranger and expect nothing in return yeah mm -hmm. that's yeah. again education kindness yeah mm -hmm. if you remember from the beginning so when people here in indonesia smile to you mm -hmm. all they want to do is take your money yeah? yeah they have all all of them they have a hidden agenda yeah almost all of them we've met mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, our yeah. nice couple in Banjung, friends yeah uh -huh. hello if you watch this and, video and uh, on uh, k island the, guy the from owner the of the coffee shop, shop. so but few, this few. this is so tiny this percentage that you cannot uh, take mm -hmm. it you know mm -hmm. in consideration mm -hmm. So here people, I'm sorry, but you guys are not nice, you know? No. If you pray five times yeah, a mm -hmm. day, and then between prayers, you try to rip me off, yeah? To mm -hmm. take as much money as possibly uh, from me by lying about everything, yeah? Mm -hmm. The cost of everything. I cannot call you nice. No, you are a bad person, yeah? Mm -hmm. Because you don't have education, and that made you a bad person, not a kind person, yeah? Yeah, so as you need to keep in mind, guys, because I think Indonesia, uh, believe about white people european they are rich no they are not rich because they struggle as well so they have uh, uh, to pay uh, accommodation food uh, family kids to school so uh, who are really rich are really small percent yeah so don't think you take their money because they don't have money no if you want to have money you go and make money don't take learn. other money learn how to make because yeah. that is, that is a bad thing that's not a good thing to take foreigners money yeah? yeah because you can do so you By have cheating. so much land guys you can do so many businesses you can do so much thing just you need to work hard no don't stay all google like that. how to make money you have internet you have everything i don't think the first answer is uh, robbing tourists no 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. even the last one is not that one yeah <laughs> yeah so um another one it's easy wi-fi uh, airport connection oh my god yeah this is also because some airports India and another one, uh, but India, same India, India yeah. most problematic India country. Problem but problem. guys, I love it. This is how every airport in the world should be. You arrive, turn your Wi-Fi on, connect. That's it. That's it. That's it. Nothing. No complications. In India, no. emails and and also in India, you have thirty minutes or one hour. Yeah, access. and they keep this. But you, they send you a code. Yeah, uh -huh. and then if you don't have phone with your SIM card from mm -hmm. home, you know, you cannot receive that code and you cannot use the Wi-Fi. No, and, and then, also limit maximum limit yeah. is one hour. Exactly. You don't have extra. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You cannot any longer on the no. same phone number or no, 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 exactly. So stupid, you know. Oh my God, no! This no. Indonesia, good job on this one on yeah. the airports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One click, that's it, nothing more. I mean, this in big airports where you have chances yeah. because if you go to smaller islands and maybe they don't have or I don't know. They, don't, they were ju just a few they, airports, yeah. they didn't have Wi-Fi. But yeah, yeah. those who have, this is everywhere but, in the world. If you don't have like this, that it's a bad experience yeah, mm -hmm. for travelers. Yeah, so this, uh, uh, another one is really a good, good plus, you know. So they have uh, cheap and professional laundry. Oh my God, this for so ice guys. So the looks perfect and smell nice. Most of the laundry, they smell and nice. And they iron them, you know, oh. everything. We do have loads of clothes because they yeah. saw us. So every yeah. time we have, if we full uh, our bag, yeah, it's yeah. full, there's like around five kilos, yeah, of exactly. uh, laundry. Yeah. So for $5, they will iron, all of them, everything, you know, oh my God, thank you so much. Thank you, to ladies. All of these hardworking ladies yeah, that yeah. do laundry because yeah. ton of respect for you because, you know, uh, this you is what we appreciate. You know, do something, yeah, yeah whatever do you something. do. yeah, And do it uh, good. Exactly, you know? and try to make an extra money, and yeah, that's yeah. good, very good. That's very good. This it's, is top. This is how it should be all over the world, you know. Yeah. Either have laundromats with just mm -hmm. coin, yeah, or money, just do it fast, you know, or do this manually, we don't care. We just, it needs to be cheap, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not expensive, yeah. like India. Jesus. Yeah. So it's uh, best bank for the buck if you go to Bali, yeah? Yes. So Bali, uh, we don't like, was not our favorite destination. No. Because it's agglomeration, because it's full of tourists, you know, so, it, there are so many on the islands. But food, accommodation, it's so cheap. Because of uh, its popularity, yeah. there's competition. It's and competition. always where there's competition, mm -hmm. you get the best bang for the buck. And that's why 
all the digital nomads and so many people choose to live in Bali because it's the best bank for the back, I think, in the entire world yeah. as a yeah, destination. Yeah, 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 yeah. If mm -hmm. you take one place, you know, mm -hmm. I don't think there's anywhere else, you know, mm -hmm. because now there's also fast internet. If the accommodation don't have fast internet, it's just because they don't want to invest in it, which is not even expensive because we've seen how much it costs. It's, you know, very cheap. So there's their How much? 200? It was uh, for 85 megabytes uh, uh, speed. It was uh, about $300 one year. One year. Know, at BizNet, yeah. So that comes to like, what, no, 20 something dollars per month, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you as a business, if you don't, cannot afford to pay 22,000, uh, $22 a month, you know. So yeah. at least you can have a good thing about your accommodation because mm -hmm. people need fast, reliable internet nowadays. Yeah, yeah? yeah, yeah. That's all. Our first priority is always the internet. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So. True. And the last one, guys. Da -da 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 -da. Best oh. coffee experience we have oh ever had since traveling. Yeah, since we start traveling. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Oh my god. So that taste. No, but so much. That smell. So many varieties of coffees you so, try. Guys, we are passionate about coffee. Yeah. So we love coffee. Yeah, and it's good, guys. It's yeah. so good. 99% of the yeah, places, yeah. because it happened, yeah? Place. Yeah. People don't invest in good coffee machines, you know? Yeah, yeah. When we true. say we are passionate, we mean it, yeah? So I know when you give me a crap coffee versus, you know, you give me a good quality one, yeah? Obviously, obviously. So, so yeah that was it this yeah? was it oh my god so again. this was it oh yeah our uh, feedback for indonesia so indonesia this is the reality yes good and bad yeah like any other countries yeah yeah do good not take it personally yeah no do not take it as usual yeah yeah, yes, yeah don't you guys cry, all do yeah take it take it how it is don't insult us take care when writing because most of you i think they comment mm -hmm. and then youtube you know has this uh, filtering mm -hmm. because if uh, they see bad words in your comments they'll hide them so if you don't yeah. respond just so no yeah so you know yeah exactly and uh, if you have may maybe other things which you know good or bad about indonesia leave them in the comment down yeah. below and yeah that's it thank you for that's watching it. thank you for watching see you in the next video see you. Take bye care. bye